Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha videos. It's been a very busy day uh, after recovering from a fever. Uh, I'm still feeling the sniffles, um, but I'm I'm getting better. Uh, hopefully by tomorrow, I'm all well enough to get back to work on uh, Tuesday. So yeah, guys. Anyways, um, finally we are doing this. We're gonna do Kaname's Gacha video. But before I do so, just remind you guys, I've already put up the explanation video regarding the Luck Leaf, which is gonna help you guys out with the summer. Um, ticket missions and of course we explain also the new deck layout so if you guys are feeling a bit lost regarding how to navigate through how Utah Cross looks now on the live page make sure you go check out that video as well um, as usual the links to those videos will be at the end of the video just have to click those uh, images that pop out at the end uh, as always so yes guys let's take a look at Kaname's Featured 7 star episode plate and is it any good or should you actually be saving your singing stones um, for other things if you guys are not kind of many fans but as usual you know 7 star episode plates usually are the main episode plates that will help you give bonus points throughout the month of events so of course getting them is definitely a plus point but of course if you are not um, fans of Kaname and of course you are not fans of Freya which is the upcoming 7 star as well and you just play casually for Ota Macross I think it's a good idea to just save your singing stones for your waifu or your husband those featured 7 star if they ever come around again as you can tell in the top right corner I have not really purchased um, the singing stones from the singing stores yet um, so we probably have to talk about this as well. So right now there's 28 days till the discounted packs for the singing stones that hold the summer tickets. So I guess um because right now the summer gacha is not here yet. So we can't really say for sure that um the episode plates being featured in them are going to be fantastic or not. Um so I would highly recommend you to hold back on maybe buying them. For now, but I mean, considering that they give 2,200 singing stones, um, they also give summer spheres and of course summer summer tickets. So that's a good thing. But of course, the regular sets now they give the Nyan Kuji fourth anniversary tickets, which is different from the first Nyan Kuji tickets that we actually got in July. So that's one thing we have to explain as well. So what's the difference between the two Nyan Kuji tickets? So let's dive into the home page. We tap the anniversary tab as usual. And of course, you can see straight away that the old Nyankuji box is here and the new one is here. So what's the fourth anniversary Nyankuji box give? So as you can tell straight away, they give the SP medal that we've talked about during the um, SP broadcast. These medals are the ones that you can use to exchange for old Nyan Kuji episode plates. So if you are missing a few because you didn't work too hard or you went MIA during um, that time period, um, this is your chance to attain old Nyan Kuji episode plates which usually are pretty good because they can be used by all the divas including Basara in the game. So a very very versatile episode plate, sadly to say, not all, I think none of the Nyankuji episode plates actually has any special notes attached to them. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below because I recall seeing all of them not having any notes attachment. So that's one thing. So as usual, you know, aside from the SP medal, they give wonderful stuff like um, Kiawa dolls, of course, the important resources that you need for powering up your episode plates. Um, and of course the skip tickets that will help you out through the events itself especially if you're lazy to grind and if you're a free to play player then of course they have affection gifts which is pretty important now considering that they've um, unlocked the cap level to level 60 for all the divas right now so there are quite a few pages worth 
um, so it's up to four pages worth of items, but you know, only three of them has the SP medal. Wow, five pieces! Holy crap! <laughs> okay, so I guess that's why they are motivating you to buy the discounted packs with the fourth anniversary Nyan Koji tickets, which is the red one, so don't confuse yourself with the blue one over here. Now, the blue one does feature a brand new Nyan Koji episode plate. Um, of course, you can see the Evolve version, which has the five divas there. Um, so, four ladies and one Basara. <laughs> so, yeah, as usual, as you can tell, it's always usable by all the divas, which is fantastic for um, the diva improvement events. Um, it's not the best, you know, Nyan Koji episode plate out there. There is technically one that's like 3,900 total score, uh, which is an older copy. So of course you need that Utah Macross SP medal um, that to exchange for it if you don't have it or if you need to power it up to its set uh, six star form. So I explained in the SP broadcast video. I think it was that video um, that technically with the missions that earlier was introduced, which is the um, Utah Macross. Anniversary missions or the Nyan Nyan service missions basically um, Currently They are giving out the red tickets You know um, As compared to the previous month in July They were giving out the blue ones So if you technically clear all the blue ticket missions You should have been able to pull out A single copy of the current Nyan Kuji episode plate Which I already attained They gave you more than enough tickets to clear the first box and a few uh, other prizes from the second box and hopefully you were lucky enough to obtain the second copy well certainly you would say I'm not lucky enough but you know um, it seems like the the special discount packs no longer give the blue tickets so that's kind of a bummer it seems like I might have to use a rare star to power up the current um, brand new Nyan Kuji episode play itself so, okay, enough of all this information updates. Let's move on to the actual thing for this video, which is the gacha itself. So let's take a look at Kaname's brand new 7 star episode plate and how does it fare. 4,251 total score is the usual for a 7 star episode plate. It has fantastic stats and surprisingly enough, um, there was a dog barking in the neighborhood. I apologize if you heard that. Um, this 7 star episode plate has no well balanced stats around, so it's the first of its kind. It focuses on soul and, of course, charm, but you know, the voice factor is being left out, and the dog is really busy barking at something. <laughs> okay, pay attention to the three other divas that can use this episode plate as well. Surprisingly, Ray Ray is involved. And of course, Cheryl and uh, um, Mimi. <laughs> I almost forgot her name for a moment. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so center skills so up. So as usual, if you get it fully evolved and use the episode plate to uh, Macross Delta song because that's Kaname is from that series, you will get that double S ranking center skill and it boosts 150% up on Soul, which is technically what Mirai On requires. Hmm. So if you guys have watched through my Luck Leaf video, you will probably know why this skill boost is pretty important, um, because it does affect your high score achievements in, in a great way. So moving on, active skill as usual, if it's fully powered up to a 7 star form, you can activate the active skill twice, giving you that 50 second boost in 100% score, so that's fantastic as always. Um, life skill however, um, so because of the fat triangle, you get a short duration score up boost, so um, at the 50 combo mark for 10 seconds, you get a score boost of 20% up. Not the best life skill as always, 7 star episode plates are not meant to be used for life skill support. So that's always a thing to take note of, especially when it comes to considering having 7 star episode plates at 25 luck value to gain high score. 
with a full diva setup or seven star. It's not a good idea, guys. I explain it in my luckly video. Go go check out that video. <laughs> All right. So as usual, um, it seems like Dana is back to the trend of having seven star episode plates, not having special notes attached to them. So right now, there's only a handful of them that actually have special notes attached to them. So those are the episode plates that you really, really want to look out for, especially when it comes to high score achievements and considering to Kira Fi such um, seven star episode plates. So anyway, guys. Let's do this. We're gonna go with the usual stuff. So um, I'm not spending my physical money on singing stone packs yet because we've got a lot of free pools um, during this anniversary event. Of course, we also have the uh, event gacha tickets which can technically help us gain um, free pools out of the featured banner. But of course, it will always be good if we can purchase singing stone packs for the step up gacha. But I'm not gonna do that. Um, because I would like to try to save as much money as possible. Uh, you know, you know, there's there's a lot of finances tossed into making Utami Cross Gacha videos, and the money is piling up. <laughs> so, and I'm not getting returns from YouTube yet. Uh, so, with you guys' support, you know, by subscribing, following me on all the social media uh, platforms, it will help me grow as a channel as well, and eventually get. Um, Ad financing from YouTube and all that stuff. So guys, let's do this with the first free daily pool. It's the afternoon session. Okay, so let's see how rare of a common episode play it will be. Okay. Alright, it's pretty rare. We don't have a lot of copies of it, so that's not too bad. Alright, moving along, we do have Super Dimension tickets that will technically expire in a few days, but I could probably use it for um, Freya's video, so I'm going to do the free daily template pool. Hopefully you guys have been pulling this. Uh, if you got something fantastic from these pools, let me know in the comment section down below. So far, it's been horrible <laughs> for me. <laughs> so let's see how horrible it is for today. Hopefully the good luck retains for Kaname's featured gacha instead. So we did get a pretty quick load for this one. Alright, no Valkyries, so that's kind of a good thing. Maybe it might be horrible later on, who knows. Okay, I'm gonna skip all because they're all common plates. So not even a red box out of this one, so that's really horrible. It's probably the worst pool I've got from the template pool so far. Hmm. Okay, so moving on to the main thing. I have the event gacha tickets and I've also got my special pass subscription tickets. So um, there's a lot of pools. So we'll do the free pool first. Let's see, maybe we might get something nice or at least heading towards a better luck. Mm -hmm. So nothing fantastic out of the free pool. So that's one of the reasons why I always explain that um, having these free template pools isn't exactly a blessing as well. Yes, it is free episode plates, but it messes up with your luck. So oh, still pretty rare considering that I don't have that many of them. So yeah, messing up the luck, that's always a problem. <sighs> well. The month of July has been pretty horrible, so hopefully with the actual anniversary celebration, my luck is going to turn things around. So as you can see, this is something you don't see very often. <laughs> uh, unless you're a subscriber, of course, for the special pass, and of course, now that we have the event gacha tickets. So I'm going to go with the event gacha tickets first, and let's see how things turn out. Hmm. Very, very quick load. Might be a bad thing. Yep, no Valkyrie animations yet. Still running dry on luck. Oh, at least we get two red boxes. 
So we can't expect costume points for Kaname's Mirayon costume because it's locked behind that 7 star episode plate so that's kind of a bummer when costumes are kind of a big feature on the episode plate itself. Hmm, don't see a lot of this Hayate episode plate so it's kind of rare. Alright, no evolutions on any of the red boxes, but seems like we are pulling out rare summer episode plates for the Delta boys. Oh, I've got them fully evolved. Okay, but they're still pretty rare. Alright, so moving along, let's move on to the special pass tickets. So we're gonna do technically a 30 plate pool from Kaname's banner. There we go. For Freyas, I probably might be buying the singing snow packs then. Hmm. Alright, we're finally getting some Valkyrie animations and we get five of them. That's pretty sweet. Alright, three red boxes, so hopefully some evolution to either of them. There we go. Oh! It's gonna be a six star episode play! I got one! <laughs> what a day to celebrate all the hard work I put on the channel today, plus the recovery. It's been a blessing. Oh wow. Yeah, getting some follow up, Kanami love. Oh, what a sad image to end on. <laughs> Oh, it's not yet. <laughs> okay. One more red box, I think. Well, I'm happy I got the featured episode plate. Even though it's not its seven star form, we get to unlock uh, Kaname's Mirayon costume. Hopefully, the luck still retains for um, Freya's episode plate featured gacha as well. Because you know, if all of the Mirai on costumes are gonna be locked behind 7 star episode plates, it's gonna be such a bummer. Especially if you want to have all 5 Valkyrie members perform in the 5 unit uh, live performance for Mirai on. Oh god, it's just gonna be a Valkyrie fans nightmare. <laughs> uh, it's definitely a nightmare for me considering that I do um, content for this. <laughs> So, I'm still gonna pull the discounted plate pool. I'm not gonna go to step up gacha since I already have Kaname's featured um, 6 star episode plate. Definitely trying to save money um, if I can, which you guys should do as well. Okay, here we go. The last template pool. Alright, we get a 3 Valkyrie animation. The luck is returning to some mediocre levels. Oh, rainbow box. Hmm. Okay, the dogs are really active in the park downstairs. I guess they are celebrating with me. <laughs> I hope they are. Okay, some Kawawa love right there for Maki Maki. Alright, no evolution on the rainbow box. That's fine, I thought, you know. Evolving a 6 star episode plate to a 7 star form it would be nice to see you again. You know, we did have that experience once on this channel. Alright, so we did get a 5 star episode plate. Is it a good one though? Mm, no, sadly to say. Because it is technically a very, very old episode play of Min Maze, as you can tell from the total score there. Um, so yeah, definitely not one of the episode plays that you should consider powering up with secret stones and all that kind of stuff. So anyway guys, that's it for today for my channel. It's been three videos on Utah Cross. I'm very tired. I need to go and take more medication, rest up for work in the... Uh, in the few days to come. It's it's been very very taxing on the body. 
um, especially with my full-time job as well um, considering that you know I've been away from the job for a while due to my ungodly health conditions and I might be ending up losing my job so guys uh, you know leaving a like share subscribe has never been more important to me especially with growing this channel if I ever do want to earn uh, add revenue for all my content so yes I cannot say this enough in every video that I make um, I really appreciate it if you watch through every video I create even if it's not my cross related you know if you guys enjoy the games that I upload on my YouTube channel and of course follow me on my social media platforms to keep all to um, keep up to date with all things Utah Macross, Macross or even any of the pop culture stuff that I'm into. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Bye!